Patient waiting time at the Uganda Cancer Institute are getting shorter with the integration of artificial intelligence in medicine. Patient scans are fed into a computer program that is able to position the exact location of the cancer cells and also draw out a treatment plan and schedule doctor's appointments in real time. When we acquire a CT scan, we just acquire an image data set for a patient. Then a team goes on to use AI to draw out or to contour in our language the normal structures in that area. These normal structures, why are they of interest to us? We must not exceed the doors. Radiation oncologists say this is helping improve treatment. The traditional method involved manually looking at the scan and identifying the location of cancer cells before applying radiation. Doctors say this wasn't accurate, resulting in high doses of radiation on normal cells causing severe side effects. The basic principle of cancer treatment, especially in radiation, is to give maximum dose to the cancer and minimum or no dose to the normal organs. AI is speeding up the radiation process by two-thirds. But despite this, oncologists see as their patient numbers are growing. The Uganda Cancer Institute is the only referral hospital with this modern equipment, though more facilities in other towns are being equipped, which may take time. About two decades ago, this facility used to receive 400 new cancer patients every year. That number is expected to grow to 2,500. But with just three radiation oncologists and 15 therapists, the facility says they are overwhelmed. The Cancer Institute says they've moved from treating cancer using 2D radiation equipment to now the state-of-the-art accelerators that have helped in better treatment outcomes. The hope is that with more advancement in technology in radiation oncology practice, patient and treatment time will reduce further. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN Kampala, Uganda.